Welcome back to the Pat Long Codes YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, creating a website using Flask in Google Colab. And um, we're also going to use Ngrok to uh, deploy it to a temporary public URL um, instead of showing it on our local host. Um, so first off, I'm going to get you started in Google Colab. So if you haven't used Google Colab before, you can just Google, uh, search Google Colab, and it'll take you directly there. As long as you have a uh, Google account, um, you know, if you don't have one, just create one very quickly, and you can sign in and uh, start going. All the code that I use in this tutorial is in the description below, um, and you can open your own copy of it in Google Colab. So with that being said, let's go get started in Google Colab. So here we are uh, in the in my Jupyter Notebook and Google uh, Colab. Um, first off, something I like to do with Flask is to make these two directories, um, templates and static. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to use static files, um, but I will use a template in the second example. So sometimes it takes a little time to run, that's the... And now you can see these two directories I've created. And um, in the second example, we'll talk about what we're going to put in there. Um, so now I'm going to have to do a pip install for Flask uh, Ngrok, which um, is the tool, Ngrok is the tool we're going to use to um, to uh, send what we have on our local host, um, which is actually in Google Colab because we're using Google Colab, to a public uh, URL which is um, usually like a subdomain of um, angrok.io. And um, yeah, sorry, Flask Angrok is a uh, Python library that's made it super easy to use Angrok in Python. So I'm just actually using the, um, I'm basically copying the minimal example, uh, the hello world example um, that's available at the URL I, I put in the notes above this. Um, but I've just made a couple of modifications so that it can be used with um, Angrok. So, uh, yeah, here's my hello world function. And uh, and so I'm just going to return this text um, to the page that we land at when we um, start the app. So again, this is a, a the standard example um, that you can feel free to modify uh, as you need to. And check out the uh, Flask website I've linked here below for some more examples. So I'm going to run this and then we'll go take a look at it. So yeah, let's go link to the Ngrok page. And here we go, we see Hello World uh, as desired. So that's your basic example. Um, you also see we get four four error um, because um, something doesn't exist that probably should. Um, that's no big deal for this particular example. I'm going to stop it now. If I can stop it. Um, yeah, let's not do that. I think it's stopped now. So you can always, you know, it doesn't really matter. We'll stop once you end the session or. Uh, yeah, you can go to the page and make sure it's stopped if you want to. So now, I'm going to, in the second example, I'm going to take a big chunk of HTML text that uses Bootstrap for, um, you know, I've, I've typed out ahead of time because it's um, a bit tedious, um, but I would recommend going to some other websites if you want to uh, learn Bootstrap or HTML for the first time. Um, W Free Schools is a very good website uh, that you can use. Um, so yeah, this is about sixty lines of HTML code that um, you know gives you a basic Bootstrap example. Um, if you're familiar with HTML, also I'm writing this file out uh, using Python. Uh, so this is a multi-line comment. Um, this sorry, multi-line string that I'm uh, writing to a file in templates. Um, and so, yeah, then now I'm going to use the render template method in Flask in this next example. I'm also going to uh, 
and still and grok although we already did that um just uh just good practice if you're running this section without the other i just like to do the pip and still when i'm in um my jupiter notebook um so yeah i'm just uh gonna do all the um just import all the libraries again um and you know install uh flask and grok and i'm also adding uh from flask uh render template i don't think i put that in my first example uh because i'm going to use that render template method to uh put that html um code that uses a uh, bootstrap above um you know onto the website that we're going to deploy temporarily using uh Engrook. so yeah again this is the uh, uh render template method and uh, i'm rendering that template which we call text.html i'm also doing the app.run um, as before so let's run that and uh, we should in fairly short order so it takes a second uh, be able to go out to the um, to the uh, the subdomain of angrog.io um, where we can see our code that we just put in there and so yeah there, here it is it's just basically uh i've also put some links into w free schools and get bootstrap.com where you can learn some more bits and pieces about bootstrap and html on on the w free schools so yeah i can stop that just as before um and now you know the website no longer exists um, i don't think i've I had another tab open that I haven't refreshed, and yeah, now now it doesn't exist. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it for a starting example. I plan to make subsequent tutorials. Um, I, yeah, I plan to make subsequent tutorials where I'll be um, looking at using Flask uh, in some different ways. And, um, and yeah, probably... Uh, look at using it in more pythonic ways um because we didn't really do much uh in python there i was just loading a template um so in subsequent videos we'll definitely look at that and uh in more ways again all the code is linked in the description below uh thanks very much for watching this video check do check out my channel for more um python tutorials and uh like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it uh thanks very much for watching